Hey guys, uh, this is a quick look at the Bisky X Bench. Um, before I get into all of this, I'm going to revert quickly to the product page and go over the photos and just give you some of my thoughts on what the potential issues would be. I kind of saw these before I ordered it, but I ordered it anyway. Um, before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know it comes in a flat pack box, so you will have to put it together yourself. Um, but you'll see that on the product page. And you also need to buy the radiator brackets, which I will bring up in the product page. Um, so with that said, uh, let's swap over to that and come back. So here's the page for the product. Uh, as you can see, they have a very well rendered build out here. And if we scroll down, you can see that um, it gives you the photos for the assembly directions, which are not really in the box. Uh, I don't see, you know, instructions for it either, but it's fairly self-explanatory. So if we open the photos and we take a look, we'll see that uh, right here is what I was talking about, what I will get into if I haven't already, that when you have an EATX board, you're gonna block most of this. And if we come to the next photo, uh, if we come over here, you can see that these two holes on both sides are where you would mount the two radiator brackets, which are sold separately. Um, and you can see that once you have the top one mounted, you're not going to be able to mount this leg point anymore, which is what this is, right? So you can see they have it here with hard tube, which you're not going to do on a test bench, unless you really want to build out like this. Uh, obviously, this is an issue you can see right here. A long GPU is going to hit the floor, uh, which I'll get into. And you can see here they have two of the radiator brackets, right? And therefore that leg is no longer available and it can only operate in this position. So, I mean, to technically you could use this as a regular case. Uh, you would need a short GPU blocked and you can kind of build out to exactly how they have it, but that pretty much is the product page. And then I'll show you some of it assembled with parts on it and see where these issues lie. But overall, that means 124. So it is cheaper than the Praxis Webbench. So now that we've seen uh, the product page and brought out some of the potential issues, let's see them in person. Okay, so here we go. This is an EATX board on the bench. So right away you can see the ATX grommets are completely blocked, right? So for me to get my 24 pin in, I cannot tilt the case like this in this position anymore. All right. Now, additionally, um, you'll notice that the PSU is touching the table. I don't know how well that is coming across on camera, but this PSU is attached via this bracket. And because there's no other bracket coming down this side, it just kind of hangs a little bit and then the surface ends up on the table. Um, obviously that may not be a big deal for some, but you know, especially for PSUs as a screen, that kind of sucks. So this could have also had the PSU come this way Right, but then that would have blocked some of the other stuff. So in reality, this part really needed to be coming out more to support, you know, EATX. And while I have this in this position, I also bring up the GPU problem. Um, as you can see, if I were to mount this, I no longer can run it in that position anymore. Okay, because it's way too long. Okay, even for a blocked card, um, I don't know. Let me just change the angle; it's a little easier to see. If I were to put this is a blocked. This is a blocked 4090 Strix. Okay, I will do a disassembly when I get the white one, but you can see here that barely makes it. Okay, so we are talking extremely close, uh, you know, extremely low kind of compatibility with blocked GPUs, even. You kind of have to go like uh, Founders Edition short block. All right, now with that said, you can see how it's very difficult to kind of run in this orientation as they show in the photos. But if we come across the back, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. Okay, so this thing does support two radiators as I was showing you guys on the product page. But you can see that this leg being here, uh, I can't put that second one here anymore. And if I don't get rid of the leg, then I'm stuck with an ATX board, right? I can, I can no longer do EATX. So essentially, in reality, because of the GPU limitations and because of the board limitations, mostly the GPU limitations, you can only really run one radiator, right? So this comes down to 
great idea in CAD. No one actually ever tried to build it and then see how that worked out. So in reality, this thing is really meant for an ATX motherboard with a short blocked GPU. Then you can do the whole two radiators, everything you want. And for those of you that are wondering, this is a Barrow, um, I forgot the name of it, but anyway, um, it's a radiator reservoir pump. Uh, I replaced the pump. The pump it comes with is garbage. So if you get one of these things, uh, be prepared to buy another DDC. And um, the fans are knocked too. I, I replaced the stock fans because they're also barrel garbage. I mean, barrel makes some great stuff, but some of the stuff is garbage. Um, and this goes back to what I was saying about bisky items before. I may have mentioned it in my videos. Oh yeah, there's a power button here, by the way. It's also blocked by the motherboard. This is <laughs> this design stupidity. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's an X mount here. Um, I don't know if that comes across on camera, but there's an X mount. You can kind of mount your pumps. Uh, I'm going to use this to mount a monitor. Uh, not that big of a large, like a 10 inch or something. So I just can get into the BIOS. But um, yeah, I mean, it's cheaper than the, I think the, I think the uh, Primo Chill. What is that? That, that X, that, that bench, the, the web bench. I think it's like $200. Right, and they have a steel one that's like 250, something like that. So it is cheap for the money, um, but obviously it's got its quirks, and it's not something I would highly recommend unless you want to do a very specific build. But this goes back to the bisky thing. You know, I don't see a lot of corner cutting here on this one, but I do have this is anodized aluminum, but I do have pieces where it's scuffed, etc. And some of the holes for the brackets, they were not fully tapped. Uh, it still worked, but it, you know, you have to work it a little bit, but um, yeah, stuff like that, you know, and this is kind of just that's why I don't trust Bisky for a lot of things. Um, because either there's corner cutting or there's some type of just looks great, sounds great, doesn't actually work out too well, and this is an example of that. Um, but you know, I'll keep it, um, it is what it is. But thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.